Before this video starts, please drop a like as this video took a really long time to make and I put a lot of effort to create this list. Thank you so much. Today is officially 2018 and here are 20 Android applications that you might find useful throughout this year. Just want to clarify that none of these apps are sponsored or in other words paid me to put them in this video. This is all honest opinion here and I truly do use all these applications in my day to day use. Also this year I wanted to spice things up a bit so I reached out to every developer on this list that doesn't have a completely free app so I can give away a ton of promo codes and some agreed so in total I am giving away over 400 promo codes from a variety of apps, 414 to be exact. All you have to do to enter is follow me on Twitter at HowToMen and that's it. I'll post up the codes randomly there throughout this month. Anyways, let's get started. Starting it off with a wallpaper app, Pixel Walls has tons of gorgeous wallpapers that you won't find anywhere else as the developer creates each one himself. They all look material, beautiful, and can be downloaded or set as your wallpaper instantly. It may not have thousands of walls to choose from, but the selection you are provided with, in my opinion, look amazing. My favorite one is Day in a Beach. It does cost $1.49, but I will be giving away 15 promo codes so you can get it for free. If you want to get to know about all the ongoings of your device and visually see them, then try out System Panel 2. It gives you a live data of your processor, Wi-Fi network, cellular data, battery stats, the temperature of some of your phone's hardware components, and more. The history page gives you data on your phone's past activities so you can see what was going on at a specific time, what apps and services were using the battery the most, and what weight locks occurred. The usage page is the best way to figure out which of your apps are consuming the most battery by letting you know how long they've been running or how much battery they've used up and more. Lastly, the app section allows you to manage your apps. Analysis looks for any apps that are excessively using your battery without you even knowing it and device tells you everything you need to know about your phone. There is an in-app purchase of $1.99 to remove ads and unlocks a bunch of widgets, so I'll be giving away 100 promo codes to unlock it for free. That's right, 100. Overall, this is a great app that helps you save battery and tells you everything that you want to know about your phone. You've probably seen the Google Pixel 2 and know that it has a launcher with amazing exclusive features. Well, if you download Rootless Pixel 2 Launcher, you can get the same launcher on your device with most of the exclusive features and more, including the Google search bar at the bottom, the at a glance widget, Google Now panel, new animations, the same color accent, Google search bar in the app drawer, and more. Plus, since it's a modified Pixel Launcher app, it also includes a dark theme, enables notification badges for both Marshmallow and Nougat devices, and gives you way more options than the regular Pixel 2 launcher. It's not on the Play Store, but it's on XDA, so I'll leave a link to that forum to download the APK. For those of you looking for a better alternative to speedtest.net or any other similar network testing app, then check out Meteor. This will not only test your internet speed, but it will also tell you what experience you can expect while using certain apps, giving your latest test results. If your internet is pretty bad, then knowing how each app will perform is very useful. Plus it's very informative giving you various stats on the test you've done and shows you a history of the trials you've completed. It's a very clean interface, completely free with no ads or in-app purchases and provides features that you won't find anywhere else. Verify is a great way to keep track of all your physical receipts, bills, and documents so when it's time to do your taxes you can easily maximize tax deductions. Just take a picture of the document and Verify will scan and store all of the important data on that sheet of paper. It works like a charm. It also lets you know your monthly expenses, gives you a monthly report through a PDF, and categorizes your payments very well. If you decide to upgrade to a plan for $15 a month, you can keep track of other people's expenses such as your family members or employees, add multiple accounts, add various profiles such as a business, personal, or self-employed, unlimited document storage instead of 12 months, and more. If you want to get a plan for free, I'll be giving away 50 promo codes which will unlock every feature within this app for 6 months. If you want to monitor the mobile data usage and Wi-Fi internet activity, then check out Glasswire. With this, you can instantly see what apps are slowing your phone's internet connection or wasting your mobile data. The graph shows you what apps are currently using your internet in real time. It can also see how many gigabytes you've used in a day, week, or month, and it even alerts you when you're about to go over your monthly data limit, so you don't receive a giant phone bill by accident. The overall design is beautiful and simple. They even have a desktop version that has even more features such as letting you know who else is connected to your Wi-Fi, a mini graph, and more. They do have premium plans for the desktop version to let you connect with even more computers, a more extensive history, and more remote connections. I'll be giving away 5 promo codes to get the pro version which would cost you $69. The next app is called Socratic. 
It's perfect for those of you who are students or just want a little help with a school related subject. You just take a picture of a homework problem, crop it, and then it will show you the answer along with a step-by-step -step instruction on how to solve it. If it can't figure out the solution, then it will bring up information from different websites related to the problem you are stuck on. Overall, a quick and simple way to find homework answers. Want some unique tiles in your quick settings panel? Then try out Shortcutter. This lets you stick any app you want into the quick settings menu, assuming you're at least on Android Nougat. There are a few more options for more advanced tiles, including a toggle to change the font scale, a dice, a counter, countdown, round the corners of the screen, weather info, and more. The free version only gets you two app tiles with up to 14 in the $1.99 upgrade. If you're looking for one of the best private browsers on the Play Store, then Firefox Focus is the one. It doesn't have extensions, account managers, or any crazy bells and whistles, but it does black ads and trackers by default so everything loads up quickly. It also doesn't let you see your active page on the recent screen or take a screenshot unless you turn it off in the settings. So if you want to go private, get Firefox focus. So Glasswire was a great way to see what apps are using your internet, but what if you want to stop background data usage on a per app basis? Well, Datally by Google is your best option. It does this by using a VPN to determine the data usage of every app on your phone, and you can block apps from using your mobile data when you are not actively using them. It also provides metrics about your overall data usage and an option to locate nearby public Wi-Fi networks. Changes is a simple little app that keeps track of application updates, and lets you know their change logs in a fast and organized way. That's it. I mean, it also lets you change the style of how you want the change logs to be displayed and keeps a record of each change log, but there's not much else this app does. Another simple yet useful app is called Hurry by Sam Rustin. This is a countdown timer to help you keep track of upcoming events or dates by using notifications or beautiful widgets. For example, I was using it for New Year's, my next dentist appointment, and birthdays. I know Google Array notifies you about upcoming events, but now you can see how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds till that event occurs. It's a simple idea, but executed extremely well. If you love theming your home screen to the extreme, then check out Adapticons. With this, you can create your own uniform icons to place on your home screen. You can tweak each icon, such as changing the icon shape, size, background colors, icon position, and more. You can even import icon packs, which is great for diversity. It's literally the easiest and simplest way to create your own icons. Island is the type of app you've never thought you needed, but after seeing it come to life, it's actually worth installing and keeping. It can do two things. Firstly, it can clone apps, so if an app doesn't support multiple accounts, you no longer need to sign out just to sign into another account. Or if you're a developer, this is a great way to test features without messing up your regular install. The second thing it can do is freeze apps that are cloned to block its background behaviors entirely or in a sense archive them. It's a completely free app, so give it a shot. This one is a fun one. Material Notification Shade lets you change the overall look of your stock notification panel. Not only does it allow you to change the overall color scheme, but it also allows you to replicate the notification drawer found on Android Oreo. It knows it pretty well too. It includes the same animations, bundled notifications, the same design when you play music, quick reply, and the transparent background. I'm not sure if it works for every device, but give it a shot and find out. There is a pro version which lets you change the accent color, customize the grid layout in the quick settings panel, and more for just $1.99, but I'll also be giving away 25 promo codes for that, so follow me on Twitter. If you want some sexy animations on your virtual navbar without needing root, then check out navbar animations. It works on any phone with a virtual navbar, and enabling it is as easy as flipping a switch. You can choose from a wide variety of custom animations, and it works like a charm. You can also set the animation speed, color overlay, animation triggers, and have it to auto start on boot. All these animations are pretty crazy and unique as well, so if you want to impress your girlfriend, then definitely try it out. FileGo by Google is a great app to free up some space on your phone. It removes app cache and app media content and even shows you files in your internal or external storage that you may not need like duplicate files, large files, etc. It also shows you a list of apps you haven't opened in the past four weeks just in case you forgot you had them on your phone and two other features which include sharing files offline and a mini files manager section within the files tab. Split Screen Creator is one of those apps that will save you a couple of seconds if you use split window mode often. Basically, it lets you make preset shortcuts for multi-window mode, and it also allows you to open the same app side by side, but keep in mind that some apps won't let you do that by default. The app is free, but there's a dollar in-app purchase to unlock the pro version, which gives you custom icons for your shortcuts, an option to hide the app icon in your app drawer, and no ads. For this, the developer was generous enough to provide me with 99 promo codes. You heard that right, 99. 
So follow me on Twitter and you'll probably get one. Do you watch a ton of videos? Well, now you can download most with Forvid. All you need to do is get the URL for the video, paste it into Forvid and tap on download. It supports a bunch of platforms, including YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vimeo, Wait, does anyone does anyone still use Vimeo? Well, doesn't matter, you can still download from Vimeo and more. If you get the pro app for a dollar, you can get rid of all the ads. I'll also be giving away 50 promo codes to get the pro version for free. And the last best app is Timber. This is a great application to edit audio and video files on your phone. You can join multiple audio or video files together, cut them, convert a file, remove the sound from a video and so forth. You probably won't use this to make YouTube videos as it's not a regular video editor like Adobe Premiere, but it is great for tweaking files on the go. So those were the 20 apps, but wait, I got some honorable mentions. The first one is Direct Chat. If you're like me and you use multiple messaging apps, then this is a great way to quickly respond to each notification without interrupting your current task. It does this by creating a Facebook-like chat head when you receive a notification, and each head is placed side by side to switch to the next conversation. For $1.98, you can get the pro version, which includes no ads, instant reply for answering faster, themes, unlocks all apps for chat heads, and more. Thanks to the developer, I'll be giving away 20 promo codes to get it for free. Nova Launcher had to be included because even though it's really well known, it's still one of the best, if not the best launcher out there. It has consistently been quick to add new features similar to that of Google's and the level of customization is wild. I've tried plenty of launchers in the past and I still find myself going back to this one. Most of the features are available for free, but you need the Prime upgrade, which is $1.49 if you want things like gestures, unread cameras, Accounts, custom drawer groups, and more. The developer was generous enough to provide me with 50 promo codes to give away, so if you want one, just follow me on Twitter at HowToMen. The next honorable mention is Grammarly Keyboard. This is a keyboard app with a unique feature. It will check to see if you have any grammar mistakes or misspelled words when you type out a message. It will even give you an explanation as to why you have an error. It does look like Gboard, but it lacks an actual keyboard feature such as swipe input, theming, and more. Still, it's free if you want to see how your grammar stacks up. And lastly, we have Retro Browser, which is just a cool app. It just lets you browse through the past and almost every website to see how it looked back in time. It's like a time machine, but for the web. Anyways, those are the top 20 best Android apps of 2018. In total, I'm giving away 414 promo codes on my Twitter at HowToMen, so follow me there and I'll post the codes up there randomly. Thank you to the developers who participated in giving away promo codes. If you want to check out the last segments of the top apps of the year, I'll leave a link to each one of those videos down below. Make sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can get this video to at least 10,000 likes. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!